Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Testing Instinct. In this video, I will be discussing about bearer token authentication in Bruno. Bearer tokens enable request to authenticate using an access key such as a JSON web token. The token is a text string included in the request header. In the request path tab, select bearer token from the type drop down list. In the token field, enter your token value. For this demo, we will be using the Airport Gap website. I have already opened this website in Chrome browser. I am using my login credentials and I am trying to login. I will be changing the login credentials after publishing this video in YouTube. So everyone please try to create an account in this website and try to use those credentials while doing pair token authentication in Bruno. So I have logged in. So after login and authentication token will be automatically generated. There is an option to regenerate authentication token. There is option to sign out, change password, and there is a link for API documentation. I am opening this API documentation in a separate tab. So the first API we will be using is this post tokens API. So we will be hitting this particular API and we will be passing our login credential in order to generate a token after that we will be hitting the get favorites api so this api will be returning the favorited airports so you need to pass the bearer token value in order to get the correct json response so i have already favorited some airports using this post endpoint i will not be showing that in this demo but I will be showing the result of the favorited airports using the get endpoint. I am going straight into the demo. I have already opened Bruno. I am using the collection authorization here. In this collection, I have created one request called generate bearer token. So this is the endpoint. I will be sharing these details in the video description so that everyone can easily copy paste. Now I am moving back to Bruno and hitting this request. If you hit this request, you will be getting a 401 unauthorized status code. So this API has to get the login credentials. Then only this particular API will be generating the token. So to do that in the body tab, you have to pass the login credentials as JSON. So I am selecting the JSON type. Now I am passing this payload. After this demo, I will be changing the login credentials. Everyone try to use your own login credentials for doing the parent token authentication. So I am copy pasting the payload. I am saving the request. Now I am going to send this one. So we have received a token. This is the same token which is listed in the website you can see the same token is listed here as well if you regenerate the token and if you again hit the api the new regenerated token will be listed when you hit this same api now we are going to hit this get favorited airports so this is a get supported endpoint so first i am hitting the get request without passing the bearer token value this time we have got 401 unauthorized status code which indicates that server has not identify our api request without passing the bearer token value now we have to pass the bearer token value to do that in the auth tab just click on this drop down no auth and select bearer token and now we have to reuse the token which we have generated in the last request copy it and paste it here in this box save the request and hit the request again so this time you will be receiving the favorited airports so i have favorited uh, this airport using a post endpoint so i am not covering that part my intention was to show how to do the bearer token authentication so i have shown that so if you want to do the same approach you should also favorite the airport using the post endpoint so the documentation is already given so this is the post endpoint 
to favorite the airport after favoriting the airports you can use the get request to get the details of the favorited airports which has been favorited using the post endpoint so i hope the bear token authentication process is clear to everyone if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing the channel please like share and comment on the video thanks for watching and keep learning